These guys are our kids. We love them, and I we, we do anything for them. Get out, huh? This is Lisa Marie. She is our 14-month-old golden tabby tiger. A year ago, Jeff moved from his luxurious home in Colorado to a cabin in the grounds of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Oklahoma. I managed Robbie Knievel for years, and I always wondered what that exhilaration of flying through the air on a motorcycle at 60 feet in the air felt like. And I think as close as I can get to it is, is being with these cats. It's, you know, it's, it's almost like a spiritual moment for me when a big lion is licking your face or, you know, and you know you're on that cusp of, of living and dying. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Having managed a family of prolific stuntmen, he and his fiance Lauren now look after over 200 wild cats. I ask myself every day why I would give up the life that I had. I mean, it was a very comfortable life. And it's not that I couldn't go back to it, but I wasn't satisfied. You know, I, was, I had a beautiful house in Colorado, big swimming pool inside. But I would sit there and stare at, you know, at the yard keepers, you know, the, the lawn keepers, and miss the interaction with there the animals. You go. There you go. There you go. Unlike most people, Jeff's family has a history of taking care of big cats. What can I get you? What can I serve you? Huh? What can I serve you, pretty girl? It started with my grandfather. He trained cats for Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey's in the 40s. So my family's always been in it. And having that experience, Jeff is well aware of the dangers these animals pose. See, so when they're this size and you raise them, you know, you just don't ever expect them to turn on you. That's a very rare Laliger. There's only 20 of them in the world and they were all born here. He's got a baby, pretty face. He's got He's a so cute pretty. face. <laughs> it's all about distraction with these guys. She's a, she's kind of, at least as a biter. They can get possessive, like, like she just, she just got my arm. I'm accident, you just don't hear about him. Oh, She's damn. getting too carried away. Yeah. Stop. You gotta stop. Just a squat. Just nothing. You know what, what hurts with these guys is the pressure. Their jaw strength is just tremendous. But you know what? That's what happens. If you're afraid to get bit, then you shouldn't have lions or tigers. People think we're nuts because we have lions and tigers, but at least you can tell when they're gonna go bad. Ears go back, eyes dilate. These guys just always ready to attack. Hi, oh, baby. Nope, nope, nope. Stay down, stay down, stay down. I've been put in the hospital twice, you know, both times mountain lion attacks. Um, a total of 400 stitches, fingers bitten off and sewn back on, my ears ripped off and sewn back on. I've had my hand bitten through all the way. Mostly small cats though. I've never been injured by a lion or a tiger other than just 
You know, superficial wounds. You're such a big boy. You big boy. You're getting all dirty. I wish we had a hairbrush and brush his feet right now. Yeah, you got quick fighting with people. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Nope. <laughs> nope. Get out, huh? No. Oh, 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 you know, when something happens when you're in a cage, it's it's not about anything other than just getting out of that situation. Jax, what are you doing? I thought you loved me. Come here. Come here. Come here. That was pretty close. I mean, I didn't think he was going to kill me, but you never do, you know. Um, He's, he was a bottle raised baby. And just today he just wasn't in the mood to be played with. So we'll try again tomorrow. Let's not let the guests see the blood. And we'll go get this cleaned up and we'll go in a cage with 16 more. That's it. Hopefully they've eaten. Joe and I are going to go in and uh, just try to walk amongst the 16 cats and we, uh, you know, it's a crisp day so they're apt to be a little bit rambunctious so we'll see. You know, if you'd have come two weeks ago when it was 100 degrees, you could walk in and take a nap with them. But when the weather's crisp like this, it's a little more risky. Excited? Come here, baby. You know what? There's a certain amount of adrenaline that you, uh, that you feel, but. It's called a death wish. Yeah. You can't be scared to die. It's all there is to it. Yeah. If you have any fear, you're screwed. Hey, guys. This is one of the good guys. It's like one of the good guys. That one's sorry. This one's sizing me up. Stop. Nope. 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 No. Yeah. Hey, yo, it's bang, bang, bang. You stop. You stop. You stop. You know, it's pretty awesome when you can wake up and step out your front door and see lions and tigers. I mean, it's, you can wake up and you can look at apartment buildings or you can look at the freeway and we get to wake up and, and look at the cats that we love so it's awesome. You know this is one of the perks of being a tiger at my park. You get to ride to the vet in a Ferrari. Right? You ready to go? You ready to go? Mm -hmm.